Hello, everyone, and welcome back to the show. You've been waiting patiently at your computer for a whole entire week, and we're back. We're ready to talk and touch video games. Uh, joining me this week is not Ian Gibson. He is away. Uh, he is in prison, and we're trying to get enough money together to get him out. But honestly, I just might keep the money. Joining me this week is one and only Kyle Bailey. Hi, I'm actually going to be replacing Ian, so uh, I've been teaching myself how to become more like him, so I've got a list of the worst takes <laughs> anyone can possibly think of. Just all around, not just video game focused, so be ready. Yeah, you just take game Back plus never played plus I hate it equals Ian score. take. Factorio, there you go, you like that game. <laughs> yes, the Factorio burn from one Jason. How are you doing? Ah. Uh so I'm the one who planted the evidence to have Ian arrested, so that way I can appear on a show with a different <laughs> okay. subpixel member. So gotcha, gotcha. gotcha. That's, that was my secret plan this entire time. So yes, I on. we I learned in the pre-show jazz room, as we like to call it, that you two <laughs> had not met. Um, and uh, I was like, why? Kyle joined the room, and then like, well, you were also being polite and not just talking. You don't just enter a room and start talking, but then one of you was like well, i don't think i've met you yet and i was like oh sorry i forget about that because it's not like meeting in person you're just like joining a discord room anyways folks it's episode 89 is that right could it be we're almost at 100 so, that's wild that's crazy we're almost 89 is i mean it's way more than views we have on probably all the episodes combined but when we get to 100 that's when we self-immolate God comes down and takes over. Um, this is Local Chat. We're going to talk about video games. Um, did I miss anything? That's it. I'm Will. I never introduced myself. Fuck you're, you. You're, I don't know if you can hear this, Jason, but Will, you're clipping very badly. Am I clipping on your end? Your, your, yeah, he, your you mic is clipping. clipping, yes. Okay, it's a, it's a Discord issue. It's not... I don't think it's coming oh, okay. through to live thing. I was, but... was going to try and mute myself and check, but... I uh, you, you can check if you want to double check. It's just... Okay. It's super frustrating because Ian makes fun of me all the time that I have this really good f microphone, but it clips all the time. Um, so, anyways, you are uh, fine on the stream. Thank you. Yeah, it's something with Discord. I can't remember if it's like the forty-eight hertz don't match sometime, but I literally mm -hmm. googled it and there were like ten people, uh, not with this exact mic, but with like XLR mics, who were like, "My friends say I sound like dog shit in Discord." Um. So yes, I wasn't even talking. You. We did actually um, uh, t more behind the curtain. Ian and I, and by Ian and I, I mean Ian, made me realize I'm an idiot. But we fixed my delay uh, because delay. my microphone's local, but my video is through OBS Ninja. Yeah. Uh, so there was a big delay, and I kept correcting it by bringing it into Premiere and being like, "Oh, it's only off by six frames." So I adjusted it by six milliseconds, which is not how math works, folks. I was off by 234 milliseconds. So I always, I, I always just have to do it manually. Like I have to do the clap test and like just yeah. record it locally and then do it. And it's like, okay, this sounds better. This sounds better. This sounds better. Okay. And then I always forget what the number is. And it, yeah, it, I, I kept changing it and changing it. I was like, what is happening? And then I finally switched premiere over to milliseconds and figured it out. So Put the auto delay in OBS, uh, and it's good. Everyone cares about this. Everyone watching cares Super. deeply about this. I'm so sorry. Um, I'm going to go quick because I have played the same games for like 10 years. Pokemon White, it's going fantastic. Jason's here, so I'll talk about it a little bit more. I'm really loving all the new Pokemon. Um, we were talking about this in the pre-show pre jazz room that uh, it's just like, with Fire Red, it was like, oh, look, Pikachu. Oh, look, Caterpie. Oh, look, Boulder Guy. And you're like, uh. But this my game, it's like. My favorite Pokemon right there, Boulder Guy. Yeah, I love Boulder Guy. He's rock, rock ground. Hard. Oh. <laughs> He's hard as a rock. Rock hard. <laughs> He's rock hard and ready to go, folks. Um, I, <laughs> Jesus Christ. I, but like being like, oh, look, this guy's a pigeon. Uh, or this guy's like something cool like the drill burr or whatever it's it's fun to encounter those and be like oh i know maybe one or two of these pokemon occasionally from osmosis like trubbish or scraggy but it's like 
a lot of these Pokemon I've never messed around with before. So it's like, what's their evolution going to be? What's what's this next thing? So that's super fun. Also, the story's pretty good. And the areas are really fun. Um, so I, I, I've been enjoying it. I'm I'm not looking forward to finishing it. But apparently there's a lot of stuff after the Elite Four. Plus there's Pokemon White and Black too. So I can just go straight over Which, to those. Also, Pokemon White and Black 2s are insane, by the way. Like, that game, oh, really? Yeah, uh, bring I, back the previous cast, not spoiling too much. Oh! So, sometimes, um, in the post-game at least, you can do all kinds of stuff like that. So, I'm trying to formulate what I want to say. I, I feel like um, there's less of the Pokemon that are only in black and only in white in this game. Like if, Like, every area that I check... Either the area doesn't have the Pokemon, but the next area does, or they're just all available in that area. Like I it, when I like played Fire like Red, five, yeah. In in Fire Red, it felt like every area had one Pokemon for Red, one Pokemon for Blue, and it was like, oh, I can't get the Blue one because I'm playing Fire Red. But this one, it's been a lot more like evenly balanced and not or inclusionary. Like I don't feel like I'm missing out by not playing Black, you know. Um, besides, yeah, besides the legendary, I don't think there's actually that much of a difference in terms of at least Pokemon you can catch. So, yeah, because that's the one gripe I've always had with Pokemon is I get it, they want you to play with friends and have trading and all that sort of stuff. But when you're going back to the older games, it's a lot harder to do that stuff because you don't. Not everyone's playing the same game as you at the same time, so um, it's kind of nice. Uh, and then Fallout New Vegas, I'm playing Fallout New Vegas, I'm still playing it, I'm like 40 hours in, just hanging around, walking the trail, I actually mute the game now and just play music off Spotify, and I just walk around and shoot things, I'm almost level 50, everything's like one hit, um, but it's it's so much fun to walk around in that game, I don't know why, I just love it so much, um, yeah, so those, those are the games I've been playing, folks, thanks for watching. See you all next week. Um, Kyle, I see some games on your list that I wish I was playing. One of them uh, should not technically be on that list, and it is the first one. It is God of War <gasps> because I bought it because it's on sale right now because it's a big PlayStation sale on Steam. Uh, and I was like, 40 bucks or 39.99, whatever it was. Heck yeah, I'll, I'll play that game. And then Steam was like, hey, you know how we know that you have gigabit internet. We're going to forget. And <laughs> um, we're not going to let you download this game until five hours have gone by. Normally I could download a pretty beefy game in like 20 minutes, 30 minutes. Like it's really fast. And uh, yeah, so I've looked at the install page for God of War. I don't know if that counts as playing it, but it, it looks good. I mean, really, like it, it's a great splash image. Like it's, you know, the text is all like laid out really well and, and it just gets you excited to play a game. So I, I really am excited to hit play. Um, and then the other game, which I already had downloaded, so I didn't have to worry about Steam's internet connection was Hitman 2. Uh, I've sort of been going back and forth through those games missions uh, now that I've upgraded my PC, playing stuff differently, trying different tactics. And I really, I need to go back and get Hitman and Hitman 3 and just play through the entire thing as like, cause you can do that. You can just play like one cohesive game. Excited for that. And uh, yeah, then Elden Ring where, you know, <gasps> it's just, it's, it's ringing, it's Elden in, you know, it's, it's doing all of its things. It's hit firing on all cylinders still. And uh, it's great. I love it. Are you, and, are you just uh, chilling in it or are you, have you like beat it? I assume you yeah, beat it. Yeah. I, I dropped like 120, 130 hours my first playthrough. So I'm just doing my second playthrough. And there were like a few little things that I missed uh, that I'm just trying to go back and get. And I'm also trying, my first playthrough was like hack and slash. So I'm doing all spellcaster uh, build for this one. So it's different. It's fun. It's still fresh. I needed, I will say, when Elden Ring came out and there were a bunch of reviews, there were people who played like hundreds and hundreds of hours just straight through the first time I beat it, I needed a break. And that break ended up lasting like five to six months. Um, and then I could come back to it. But like, I don't know how people just dove into that game like endlessly. I guess that's sort of a FromSoft thing where people just, that's their their niche. But I, I needed a break. So yeah, it just worked for me. I'm but, still yeah. sitting at that last boss. Um, 
<laughs> so <laughs> I have I have a theory that I'm pretty sure I've heard other people uh, have said this. The, the very last boss, the sort of, I guess, spoilers, but like the celestial Elden Beast sort of thing. I think originally Miyazaki and his lovely team of developers planned to uh, let you have Torrent in that in that boss fight because there is so much goddamn oh. running and it it honestly it like it feels weird because there's so much just blank space and i was like why don't they let you ride torrent like it just i i feel like that was a consideration and then for some reason they were like nope you're on your own so i don't know just throwing that out there miyazaki if you're watching you know I'll confirm come, it come clean worry. yeah yeah <laughs> yeah yeah let us know um hit us up DM me. Uh, yeah, <laughs> DM me. Yeah. Uh, I'll be here. Uh, just, just hanging out. Uh, so I know you're you subscribed to uh, to me and Will's OnlyFans. So separately, yes. we don't have a OnlyFans together. It's separate. We should do that. Join we, let's OnlyFans. Do let's go for you it. You know, I learned the other day because I didn't know this. Um, fun fact: for Can't OnlyFans, wait. you have to sh you have to show releases and prove the age of everyone that are in your photos or videos. Like on Which camera, I, uh, like you, you send it, you, you verify it, it with oh, okay. OnlyFans. Oh, like when you're yeah. uploading, <laughs> I thought it was like every video you had to like hold up the form, <laughs> <There's> like, <laughs> license. <laughs> um, which I did not expect, and I was like, "Oh, that's pretty cool." Um, I know this because I watched a video where someone was talking about it because Patreon doesn't do that, and there was a big thing with Patreon doing very gross, illegal things with nudity that I will not get into on a family friendly podcast where we say the F word. Um, but uh, they were saying as an example, OnlyFans does all that. And I was like, Oh, that's like wild to me um, that they put that much effort in it. But you know, it makes sense when you're doing the nudes, you got to prove you're old enough, dude. Um, Jason, <laughs> tell me about the games you've been playing. I, I played, um, like Will, I only play like five games total. I've been streaming Fire Emblem pretty much nonstop. Ooh, which, which one? Seven, but my viewers ROM hacked it. So now it's like harder and has like jokes from my streams in it now. So they <laughs> That's have awesome. And stuff. Yeah, so they did a great job. So shout out to those guys. They know who they are, the real ones. So I've been playing that. Uh, I've also been, you know, been doing stuff on save data i think we finished delta rune recently and then ghost trick those games nice. and for and for the game i haven't played but i started playing it probably like a week and a half to two weeks so i would have brought it up to one of these uh streams that will has asked me to be on a couple times <laughs> uh slay the spire i actually have never played it before uh oh. what, is, what is it called slay, slay the, the spire slay the spire yeah okay. so it's basically uh it is a card game that you like climb like a tower and then you obviously get cards dealt to you and you have to play them out to like beat the the, the bosses it's a roguelike card game is basically how i would describe it it's pretty fun mm -hmm. uh, so kind of like inscription a little bit yes yeah. it okay. is kind of like i the, the person who got me to play this i'm trying to get them to play inscription uh, okay so they're having a they don't play much on steam but uh fingers crossed i can get them to try that because i think they would like it i liked inscription a lot too actually more of the first half of inscription but i think i think yeah. inscription was our our game of the year right our last collective year it's game true of the year. yeah it's definitely uh so it's definitely a game i liked that game at the beginning and then like i get the story part of it so but it was more fun as a game to play at the beginning then. yeah but the story yeah. part that second part was still fun but uh so aspire is pretty fun you can do all kinds of challenge runs and stuff and for me who likes doing that that's pretty useful i'm, I'm still downloading hard west which is cowboys but xcom still Ooh. want that yeah hard west 2 uh hard west i haven't gotten the chance to play that so look into that well if you like xcom at all i love xcom so i know you you like it because you've <laughs> from personal experience you're pretty good at it uh but yeah anybody oh. who likes xcom try that out as well i would say I made it out yeah. alive, Jason. I'm very good at it. Yeah, you might have been a traitor, but you know. <laughs> I I guess I should have just died. Is yes. that right? Die with the team. Oh, I hate hate that. Um, that's I've never played Slay of the Spire. I think I think it's Ian, who um, who was talking about it at one point, or was that? No, I it think it was been, Ian. It sounds like an Ian game. 
And that, it that's does. unfortunate because I'm also playing it, so I might have to actually <laughs> stop playing it. Shout out to Ian, he, by the way. Yeah, so, he probably played for 15 minutes and was that's like, enough. Ah, that's enough. That's enough. I hate this that's game. That's enough. I hate this game. <laughs> <laughs> When's Factorio 3 coming out? I don't even know what uh, they're on, but. <laughs> it's coming to the Switch. I am excited yeah, about that. Yeah, something like that. Yeah. Um, great. That's awesome. Uh, folks, those are the games we've been playing. We, I love that we all are playing, like, none of us are playing really new games. We're all playing games we always play and talk about. Uh, it's, it's fantastic. We, hey, listen, at least I didn't talk about RimWorld. Uh, Ian would be having a heart attack. Uh, okay, so it's time for the news, which means I gotta play the news theme sung by the loveliest man in our nation. Here's the news, it's gaming news, we're talking about news, what's up news? But now there's more to the song, so you can sing along, and it won't bore you though, unlike Factorio. Kingdom Hearts was played by Ian, and he really loved Pirates of the Caribbean. But we don't want to have a vocal spat, so let's bring it back to your local chat. What a wonderful human being. Uh, moving on, folks. Time for the news. We've got a lot of news this week and not a lot. There's a lot of news, but it's a lot of, like, contextualized news of things people probably already know. So we're going to talk about it. Kyle, I forgot you had a cat. and Your cat scared the crap out of me behind so, you. <laughs> literally the entire time the song was going, there was a, a wall right here. He was attacking his own shadow and doing like flips. He's all wound up. He's a heart up, attack. So. I was like, am I going to watch Kyle oh, there's die? A, there's a gremlin behind you. <laughs> oh, man. How is Mochi? He's great. He's growing. He's he's very very he's happy though. Blast. He he just got he just got uh fixed. So, you know, he's Wait, he's M dealing M with that. M O C H I? Yes. Like That's... The, like the Is Nothing. that the name of no, your cat? A, oh, okay. a friend of my a friend of mine's cat's name is also yeah, that that exact <gasps> okay. name. Awesome. Wow. No, no, I, guess, no. I guess it's more popular than I thought it was. I was like so I want a, I want a unique name. Yeah. That's fucking Are wild. we friends? <laughs> uh, we have to be now. I don't know what the hell that's about. <laughs> that's crazy. But, Love yeah. blooms on the battlefield, folks. Um Yes. Uh news starting off some upsetting news uh today that I discovered about 15 minutes before the stream because I was not on the internet. Um, Tencent gutted fanbite today, starting around noon Eastern, apparently telling people one by one that they were laid off. Uh, Tencent with, I think someone pointed out, record profits this year um, of over 35 million or something like that. Firing everyone, including um, uh, Imran Khan, who people may know, I think we've done a couple of his articles on here, uh, and a bunch of other people. So uh, shout out to them. I hope they land on their feet. If anyone knows any job opportunities, hit them up on Twitter. Same thing also happened to G4 this week on Wednesday, I believe, uh, as well as Future, but I, I don't know what Future is. I've never heard of never that heard of it. site. <laughs> um, yeah, so that means it doesn't suck for them. No, I'm kidding. Yeah. <laughs> so that sucks for everyone involved. I'm so sorry. Um I will definitely, if I see anything, I will tweet them out at everyone. Um, you deserve the jobs you have, uh, and Tencent deserves to be flushed down a toilet. Um, moving on, this is the roundup of events, folks. Get ready. We're going to go through each event one by one, minute by minute, talking mm. about each facial expression and each beat. Uh, I'm very excited. We're going to be here for six hours, but just strap in. Uh, it's going to be like a Fire Emblem fight uh, all over wow. again. <laughs> Fire Emblem <sighs> fights are only five hours and 30 minutes. Thank you. Not six hours. Thank you. Oh, I'm so sorry. I rounded up. Um, <laughs> the Nintendo Direct was this week uh, delayed because of the death of Queen Elizabeth II. Uh, if you didn't hear about that, I have a short soundbite that you should hear. Oh, it didn't play. Never mind. Uh, moving on. <laughs> Sorry, I forgot I had the America song on here still, and I really wanted it to play, <laughs> but it just... I it was so it. close. It was so oh, close. I'll insert that in post. <laughs> uh, the Legend of Zelda Tears of the Kingdom is the official title of the sequel to Breath of the Wild. Uh, they showed off a pretty cool trailer. 
uh, up in the sky, jumps to a jet thing, and there's a rewind thing. And from uh, my coworker at work who did a great breakdown video uh, that is on the GameSpot YouTube account, I would highly recommend checking it out. Only that video. No other videos are good. Mm. Just kidding. Um, that There's like a lot of stuff, uh, like the same, it looks like it's almost the same identical base map with stuff changed on it with the islands above and people are also theorizing like stuff underground but like clearly stuff has changed they're not just copy pasting the whole thing um but they were actually he and people on twitter were actually able to match up where on the map like some of those shots were taken from and like where things are relative to that and it just like blew my mind um so a lot of, a lot of the like early uh sort of conceptual stuff is the Tears of the Kingdom is both a metaphor and a simile. Is that what they're called? And that you're kind of rebuilding the kingdom and bringing stuff back up to fill in spots to get across islands, like up in the sky and everything. Um, purely conjecture, but listen, more Breath of the Wild. It looks like Skyward Sword when it first was announced. That's why somebody I it was. somebody yeah. said that it was like the Nintendo execs were like, "What if we made Skyward Sword but good?" <laughs> and they were like, yeah, we could do that. Uh, apparently, the um, there's like pre Breath of the Wild footage of the skydiving that was supposed to be in Breath of the Wild that they never ended up using. And I think a lot of that they're like, hey, let's just make a second game instead of trying to shove all this stuff into one game. Um, it's weird you say that because I have a vague memory when Breath of the Wild was in its sort of promo phase of seeing something like that. And I don't know if it was on Reddit or whatever, but I was like, oh, hey. And then I just assumed cut feature. You know, it was just they they cut it. But that's cool that they sort of reworked it. I also, yeah. I got to say, I, I really like the title. I was worried they were going to keep calling it Breath of the Wild 2. Yeah. Um, but Tears of the Kingdom feels like a cool Zelda game. And it feels like a, a suitable follow-up to Breath of the They're Wild. They're not Square so. Enix. They have good names. So. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. <laughs> uh, um. I was yeah. gonna say what I was gonna add on. I I think, I I think Breath of the Wild was the people who like Breath of the Wild are mildly obsessed with it, which is perfectly <laughs> fine. I I get it completely. So I think they could have just had an extra version of the game and still, as long as you are playing Breath of the Wild in some capacity in terms of the base model, I think it just extended people would love it. So now you can do all the sky stuff, even if it's not tweaked that much. Because even in the trailer, it didn't look like it was groundbreakingly different it still looked like breath of the wild so just like a little update you know what? yeah i think that's the nice thing it's like a continuation of of all that style so you know what you're getting into rather than like a leap from like majora's mask to yes like whatever, that kind of know? difference yeah or is it what uh, zelda's linked to the to past yeah, yeah zelda's can get wildly different so yeah it's very nice um very nice as borat would say uh the rest of the stuff uh there was a lot of ports and stuff coming to the switch including it takes two which looks <laughs> not <laughs> great no um yeah it looked very not great um also about four or five farm games so if that's your thing uh go for it you've got that octopath traveler 2 they showed off a bit of which to me looks really fun uh apparently once again holding to the fact that the eight characters spell out octopath um with their first letters of their names which i think is a cool thing uh, i'm gonna sneeze but it's not coming so never mind you uh, and okay. s <laughs> i like was about to sneeze it just didn't come uh nintendo 64 games was my exciting thing because guys they're adding mario party one two and three <laughs> first of all so excited so <laughs> gosh darn excited they're also adding Pokemon Stadium and Pokemon Stadium 2, games I've never played, but now that I am in love with Pokemon and I get to see them in the highest <laughs> resolution possible. Uh, Good luck with those, by the way. <laughs> they're, hard, they're hard as shit if you play I'm them. I'm sure they play perfectly and they're easy no. and I'm going to have a blast, so I don't know no. what you're talking they're about. They're very hard, yeah. If you uh, uh, Pilot like Wings, Excite by 64, and one of my personal favorite games, uh, I should say favorite games from childhood that I still probably don't know how to play, but had a blast playing as a kid, which is 1080 yes. snowboarding. Yes. That game is so good. 
I would always play that. So I never had an N64 growing up. Uh, so it would always go over to my friend's house and he had that game. And it was just like fun to be bad at that game. I don't yeah. know why. And it was it was it was great. And it's funny that they made this announcement because a couple weeks ago, my friend gifted me his N64 with one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, seven of the nine games on this <laughs> thumbnail. So I, I guess I'll have to play through all of them and then compare them uh yes. to the switch versions so. and we'll take a book report on that please yeah 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 um and then finally they're adding goldeneye 007 with online multiplayer to the n64 wow. nintendo switch online expansion pack um also so is xbox um <laughs> nintendo is using the original rom supposedly and adding online since they have that feature built into uh the expansion pack uh, Xbox, on the other hand, has recreated the game from the ground up uh, with 4K. Grief is odd job in oh, yeah. home multiplayer. <laughs> with 4K textures and all sorts of stuff, but no online multiplayer, which to me is wild. Um, but also, I, I just keep thinking about GoldenEye in 4K with modern shooter controls. And I get really excited because that could be really cool um, defeating people, but not online. It would only be locally. Um, mm. So I think that's that's definitely some extra life segment uh, yes. situation right there. Uh, but man, when that music played, I was like, GoldenEye. And then like two seconds later, <laughs> Xbox tweeted out that they were also doing it. And oh, bummer. I was like, like what is happening right now um yeah i, I want to know i said this in the uh in the discord but i want to know the ins and outs of that licensing deal where nintendo ended up with the base rom and multi online multiplayer and xbox ended up with remastering and recreating the entire game but no online multiplayer like who do they have the and they own there? rare xbox like xbox like owns rare um yeah, I th like if I they assume ground, I I have no idea. Um, it's just it's it's so weird. It's such a weird like uh, who's the hang up there? Like who's the deciding factor? Like the the rights still at like uh is it broccoli? Barbara broccoli owns Ian Fleming stuff. Like S and Goldeneye. Yeah. E Eon Eon Eon. Uh, that's what it is. Thank yeah. You. Like is that someone who's still deciding? They're like. Like it's just so it's so weird. I would love the ins and outs of that. Um, did you guys play Goldeneye growing up at all? Yeah, I played it. I played it a lot, mainly again at other people's houses, and it was it was great. I did play Nightfire way more than yes. Goldeneye. I was and yeah. Go ahead. Night no night Nightfire multiplayer was like m one of my favorite. I, I've probably sunk hundreds of hours into that in my childhood. So. Um, Goldeneye, or yeah, Goldeneye was, it was fun, but it was never like the object of my desire. It was, it was always Nightfire. Uh, mine was Everything or Nothing, which was awesome. Yes. Game too. Okay, I am actually doing a James Bond sort of history of uh, video games, and I really want to sink my teeth into uh, Everything or Nothing and and, Super good. and Nightfire. Yeah. And we it's actually, a, it's a movie that? basically. It's like its own movie yeah. game. Yeah. Yeah. It's like it's you're playing as Pierce Brosnan. Yes. I mean, yeah. like that's literally what? it. And the cool thing is whenever you switch weapons, it does matrix like slow down time and like you can see Ooh. bullets going past. It's really slick. Um I love this game. There's co op multi there's co op like campaign too in that yeah. game too. Yeah. Which is kinda cool. And kinda the multiplayer yeah. in that game, not terrible. No. Like for a third person James Bond game, not terrible multiplayer. It was it was cool. Wild. Yeah. Uh, you heard it, folks. James Bond. Uh, moving on. The Ubisoft forward was also. Well, 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 well I gotta stop you. If you're gonna have oh, me I skip on something. This... Oh, you. Oh, oh, dude. sorry, sorry, sorry. No, 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 no. Hold no, on. No, 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 no I gotta put no. you on blast, dude. No, you cannot have me I on. I was waiting for you to say something. I thought no. you were waiting to the end. No, he's basically he's, he's baiting me on purpose. This guy, he gets me on a thing where I can actually talk about one of the five <laughs> games I play. Had an announcement, sir. So Pikmin, sorry. obviously. Pikmin yeah. board, no, obviously. I literally, my my screen is on that. The problem is, I went, I clicked off to the Xbox Game Pass thing, and then I clicked back to the notes. So I just moved on to the next thing. Anyways, yeah, talk about Pikmin Four. 
Yes, of course. <laughs> it's like... Fire Emblem Engage! <laughs> yeah, it's the first Fire Tell me all about it! Tell me oh, about this VTuber. Oh, God. People have been com comparing the Pepsi VTubers, Toothpaste, Colgate Man. It's been great. <laughs> Colgate Man's uh, great. Yeah. It, it's the first Fire Emblem that's been released that's a Fire Emblem game that's not Heroes or Three Hopes since Three Houses. So that's 2018, 2019. So it's been a bit. People were expecting a remake. Uh, this is the next closest thing, I guess. Having a full game come out with homage to all these characters from the previous series so that's probably mm -hmm. the next step like oh like these guys from previous games that were only released in japan still by the way port them over thank you japan and nintendo uh so hopefully they remake these games now that they have all these characters from previous games showing up that people are gonna be like well who the fuck is sigurd i've never even heard of this guy or who's leaf from mm -hmm. fe5 like who with the... it's gonna be great in that capacity but if you if during the trailer Three Houses had all these battalions and stuff, and the previous games, Awakening and Fates, had pair up. Didn't look like in the trailer they had any of that stuff, so it looks like it's going more bare bones, which I think people will hopefully appreciate I, a little bit more. So. so I only just recently started playing Three Houses, and the previous Fire Emblem game that I played since then was Radiant Dawn. Um, yeah. And I love Radiant Dawn, Path of Radiance, and, and I played all the GBA games growing up. So... It was like a big sort of slap in the face, not not in a bad way, just like in a shocking way to find out how crazy different Fire Emblem is from what I grew up with. And I'm sort of like struggling to catch up. And I'm I'm hoping that Engage is sort of a, a return to form a little bit. I mean, it, it definitely looked like they still had some of the stuff that's, that's in Three Houses that I'm not fully appreciating, like the chores. It, yeah. <laughs> uh, so... I don't know. It, look, it looks like they have the overworld stuff, the the story stuff, like the more like benign, like not gameplay, like it's more like not direct gameplay stuff from Three Houses. I think they're yeah. incorporating, which people really like, like talking with your people, putting on outfits, getting to like support them, t tea time. Yeah. Uh, but if you played Heroes, which is their mobile game, probably one of the more money making things that Nintendo does, actually, surprisingly, this ties in. They even use the same emblems and stuff from Heroes. Some of the weapons and characters are using their hero form weapons. So they're definitely trying to grab those heroes players mm. and bring them over to the main series as quick as possible to, to, to cash flow this. So it, at worst, it's a going to be like a suck their own dick kind of like fucking game, which I'm down for. I mean, sorry, Nintendo's like really that. great at that. So <laughs> Yeah, sorry. Like, like I don't know how to word it better, but it's like a fan service game. There we go. There we go. Sorry. Or your family so friendly stream. <laughs> There's so many. You could have said self grandizing. <laughs> you just went straight to suck your own dick. I'm sure there's a Japanese term for it that. It could have been narcissism, you could have said. <laughs> okay, well, at worst, it's going to be a fan service game. At best, it's going to be a, a solid title. I'm, I'm worried that they're, yeah. they're not going to be able to keep the, to like make a story based off of this that stands on its own. But hey, if I get to play as fucking Sigurd like in a fire emblem game who's from fe4 good yeah. game that's kind of tight i mean I'm not gonna I'd, lie. I'd love to play as just lynn like yeah. so just she's in different. it yeah yeah i saw i saw i saw well so. even as someone as me someone as beautiful as me i should say uh who has <laughs> never played a fire emblem game uh god damn when boy. they when one of those characters said oh i'm marth i was like wait they have marth who forgive me if Super i'm Smash wrong brothers hasn't Smash been around well, Smash, first of all, Smash Brothers characters, but hasn't been around since that NES Fire Emblem, right? Or has he been no, around? No, not even close. I'm sorry, my friend. Okay, I, never, never mind. <laughs> uh, he's, he was in one, he's in three, he's in... Uh, but pre, pre he, he's Melee, in, he wasn't in, in anything 11, in America, and he's in, right? He, and he's in 12. Uh, uh, pre Melee, no. No, he wasn't. Okay, that, I think that's what I'm thinking of. Roy, um, Roy was not even in a, a game yet before you came into america oh see i didn't this know this game that wasn't part. out yet yeah that's crazy i need to play a fire emblem you told me i think you said seven or eight i should seven play on the gba which i have i have my pocket that i could play it on um eight's easier so eight is like the easiest one in the series you can just pick that up beat it and like it's also really short, so you'll be able to beat it very quickly. Okay, maybe I'll just do that, because I was also thinking, like, the the GameCube games are kind of, like, I'm thinking of doing those. 
because I've wanted to play some GameCube games. Uh, so that's kind of on my the radar. Ga- He'll, he, Kyle will back me up. The GameCube ones are great. Like Radiant Dawn and Path of Radiance are fantastic. They're long. They're, very, They're very long, long as yeah. fuck. Yeah, I God. I love them. I still have the um, the the gameplay uh, booklet, the strategy guide. I forgot what it was called because oh, nice. they I haven't picked up a strategy guide in twenty years. Um, you can buy that thing for like seventy dollars on eBay. Yeah, I'm basically rich. Wow. So you are. Um, yeah, I I love those games and I have streamed them on Subpixel. And it took months. It took a very long time. That is true. Um, I should have realized they're, that. They're great. Just go back and watch my streams. I'm sure there's yeah. not any inconsistencies in them at all. <laughs> Wait, eight. Um, Will, that's your mission from me. If I ever come on your channel again, you haven't played eight yet. I'm walking off the show. Wow. Oh my god. Okay, <laughs> I will play eight between I'll now and next week when you come back on. <laughs> it's also I keep getting thrown off because you're saying the numbers, and I I never knew what the numbers were. I always just called them what they like. What yeah, the that titles were. So yeah. he's if you, if you don't want to look it up, Will, it's the Sorry, Sacred it's, Stones. It's Sacred yeah. Stones. Yeah. Sacred yeah. Stones. Sorry, I have... Sorry, my bad. Oh yeah, Nintendo loves pleasuring their own Sacred Stones. Wow. Right, Jason. Thanks. Yes. Yeah. You sh- I should. If I said it like that, it would have been much better. Still. Yeah. Would have been way <laughs> your hotter. Face, your face when I said that, you're like, well, you just ruined this this, <laughs> this episode like, for us. It went from zero to one hundred so fast. But yes, you just that, pretend like, that this is family friendly. That was my that 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 was that was the news I know the most about. So I, my my I know. My time I, in the forgive sun me done. for trying to move on. I really wasn't trying to bait you. I, I had also, it pulled up and everything. There there are people in the chat, or someone has people are com- have commented in the chat. I just wanted to acknowledge <laughs> that. I wanted to acknowledge that because it's been this, a very long time. This, this just in: people have commented in for folks wondering. Uh, during ch- i talked about this with ian but i think he was the only one talking for people who talk in chat and during specifically local chat i usually only call you out when you are answering to something we're actively talking about okay uh, so if someone says hello i'm not ignoring you but to people who listen to this later on and i just go hello it kind of sounds weird sometimes so that's the reason it's only this one because it's also a podcast um so don't fucking talk in chat. No, I'm kidding. You can contribute. Um, I see David making fun of me for playing Celeste with the music off. Yeah. I'm sorry. And, and apparently Mochi is a common cat name. I've never met another cat named Mochi my entire life. So I I'm don't right there that. with you. Until uh, until tonight when <laughs> freaking <laughs> apparently I'm I, you know, I'm not the only person who's very original. You're unoriginal, so. Kyle. Face it. How old, is, how, how old is your uh, your your cat? <clears throat> um, twenty weeks. Twenty twenty weeks. Oh, so yeah. they had the name first. So you're definitely unoriginal. I'm sorry. <laughs> well, okay. I will say this. My <laughs> so, you're really sucking your own dick there, Kyle. <laughs> yeah, really stroking, stoking my fire emblem. Your, your um, sacred stones. My sacred stones. Uh, um, I will say I got him microchipped, and they spelled his name wrong. So he's not technically Mochi. Oh, okay. He's he's uh, M O C H E, which I just is Moish. So he's Jewish. He's, I didn't oh, even know. talk to him in Hebrew yeah. if you'd like. There you go. Um, I've been, uh, Karen's been teaching me Hebrew. This is a tangent. So there's post it notes all over my apartment for the words in Hebrew. But so if you get, if you get like swatted, the police are going to have so many questions. Yeah, they'll think I'm some sort of horrible. Uh, I don't know. Person who studies <laughs> Hebrew. You know. Person who studies Hebrew. Um, I think that's... I'm not forgetting anything else from it. They're making a Kirby's Dream Land. Return Kirby's of Dream, Dream Land. Re- yeah. That actually looks pretty cool. Pikmin 4, they announced. Didn't show anything off. Golf, Nintendo Switch, sports. Yeah, the yeah. holiday uh, new uh, Mario Kart 8 Deluxe. Uh, by contract, I have to announce that Factorio is coming to the Switch. Uh, and then if Ian was here, he'd be like, oh, I can't wait for Sparks of Hope. It's like XCOM. Um. So yeah, uh, can I move on from Nintendo the, the, now? The, the direct was good, is what I will say. Yeah, it was pretty good. And the one more thing was very nice because, as someone who was reporting on the news, none of those things perform on social media until the last one. Uh, so we were kind of just waiting. Um, Ubisoft forward. You guys actually did. You guys talk about this? Oh no, I'll we talked about the rumors. That's what it was. I'm getting like flashbacks. Um, 
they announced a bunch of games that are coming to uh, Assassin's Creed Infinity, which is like their new sort of... I don't know if it's a launcher or like a base game you load up and then go into it. Um, I didn't actually watch this to see if they explained it, but they announced one set in Field Japan uh, and the other one... 20 years after the fact, like, (laughs) that people wanted it. Assassin's Creed Hex. Good point. They did not say when it was. Once the Assassin's Creed come in where you basically are in the future, uh, like, in in the story mode, you're like, I want to pick to go back in time at this point. And they have, like, nine worlds, and they're short, like, campaigns. That's what I thought they would do eventually. Like, I'm going back to feudal Japan to, like, assassinate this guy, but it's, like, an episodic thing. (laughs) They're doing, like... (laughs) Yeah. I just have this this picture in my mind of when Steve Jobs uh, premiered the iPhone, where he's like, "It's a it's a an Assassin's Creed in Japan. It's an Assassin's Creed in in Baghdad, and it's an Assassin's Creed in which time? It's not three different Assassin's Creed. It's one Assassin's Creed. That's what they need to do. Woo! I think that would have been would have been way better. Turtleneck. Chop Steve Jobs. Wow. <laughs> wow. Oh my God. Wow, you need to talk Jobs. to your daughter. Um. So what? I, <laughs> What I think is also what David said in chat. See, I'm referencing chat, which is that it sounds like it'll be a base world or something. So I feel like, Jason, you could be pretty close where, like, the future part is the base world. And then either the stories are connected and you have to do missions in the different worlds or a la Live Alive you go to each of the worlds and do hey. like all the missions. Hey, th- they said it in, in the Nintendo Did they Switch. Actually, I, didn't, I didn't know that. He yeah. goes, and an update for Live Alive. And I'm like, that's oh how you God. say it. <laughs> yeah, there you go. <laughs> um, so I could see that. They announced two of them. One of them, the leak had said it was it was const- or, uh, Holy Roman Empire uh, witch trials, but the vibes I get from this trailer are much more Salem witch trials than Inquisition. Um, so I think, and plus hex spelled with an E is like Old English. Um, and then also, uh, sorry, Assassin's Creed Mirage set in Baghdad. That comes out in 2023. That'll be a more uh, return to form of the older Assassin's Creed uh, that I'm actually looking forward to because I love 1 yes. and 2. I yes. played them so much. When they say return to form, like what era of Assassin's Do they mean 1 and 2? or do they? Yeah, mean like, like 1 and 2. Like trimmed like, down. They... Basically sort of... not, um, not the RPGs that Origins yeah. kind of started. They better bring Black Flags. Black Flags, flags. Is probably the best, probably one of the best pirate games ever made. So, Black Flag it's, is good. I meant to say they better bring back flags, I but Black Flag meant. worked anyway. <laughs> Thank you, you for you, not you bringing that up. You fumbled into the one of the right answers. <laughs> it was incredible. Um, so that's cool. I, I like Assassin's Creed is one of those things that I stopped playing. Uh, Lucky Sorry, you. David just said in chat, Mirage will take place between Valhalla and Assassin's Creed 1. Isn't that like a ton of time? Isn't Valhalla like... Isn't... Valhalla's like in oh. Norse times, so... But Invasion of I, England, I haven't played so Valhalla, it's not that so far. I have, no, I have no idea. It's not... I was thinking, for some reason... No, sorry. I was thinking Origins when you said Valhalla, which is like ancient Egypt. Which is... Which would be a ton of time. But I think... I think David's right. I think... Valhalla is like the 600s AD. Sure, sure, I don't know. I'm making it up. Who cares? You've never been wrong before in your, in your entire life. I've never been wrong in my entire life. I just sit here and suck my own dick. Uh, Disney and Marvel had a showcase. They announced one of the leaks um, that we were talking about uh, last week, which was the um, Amy Hennig and Skydance making a Captain America Black Panther game set in World War II. Right. They did it. I forgot about that. God. Okay, sorry. Um, it seems to be almost like a four-player co-op, Left for Deady situation. There's uh Captain America, uh T'Challa, or actually sorry, T'Challa's grandfather, uh Azuri, T'Chaka? who was a previous Black I can't uh, okay, Black Panther, Jeez. uh the World War Two era Black Panther. Sorry, for some reason I was thinking T'Challa was the name of the who was the Black Panther, but it's it's actually his name. Um, Gabriel Jones, a U.S. soldier and a member of the Howling Commandos. Or, yeah, a member of the Howling Commandos and Nanali, uh, leader of the fledging Wakandan spy network. Uh, so that'd be interesting. Marvel's Midnight Suns gets a new release date. 
uh, for December 2nd. How are you feeling about that one, Jason? Uh, I was really, really high on this game when they first announced it in terms of it was like a like Marvel plus like XCOM. Sounds like a great idea. You can use like unique abilities and all that fun stuff and have like classes and upgrade them. And like I saw they had the card system and I watched the gameplay of the card that wasn't that bad, but the card system I was just I'd like just make an XCOM game, man. Just you don't need to be fancy with this. But I don't know. I I'll, I'll probably I'll probably still play it, but uh, cuz I like some of the roster they chose to some like Blade, Ghost Rider, I don't get many games. So um, yeah. I don't know. Proud to play it, but I think they could have just they, I don't want to say dumb it down, but just definitely just go back to like they're so good at making like class systems and like just turn based stuff and tactics and stuff. You don't need to have this extra fluff, even though I'm playing Slide to Spire with cards, but ignore that. <laughs> you don't need to, you don't need to, not everybody has to do that. I don't know. But, like, yeah. Thought they had their own system really well, well done. That's like my same exact thoughts. Like, Hey, and like, listen, I'm not making, I'm not angry. They're going outside of what they normally make to make a game, but that goodwill I have towards XCOM and XCOM two aren't being carried over to this game because it's more different than what I want from like an XCOM three. So I'm not sitting there being like, Oh, they're, they're coming out with XCOM three and it's Marvel themed. I'm more like, Hey, I'll check out what you're doing, but I secretly want you to return to form and just make <laughs> XCOM three, it. please. That's all I want. Yeah, I'll play Some it, indie but... studio's gonna make it. No way. Even to it. No way. They'll try. They'll try. They'll uh, try. Uh, th- didn't see much else from that as far as large news. There was some stuff that Disney Dreamlight Valley seems to be doing pretty well. The Animal Crossing like game, um, which I have not actually played. I installed it on this computer and then promptly uninstalled it uh, because I needed room for other games. Uh, Next up here, September updates for the Xbox PC app. Uh, I thought this was more of like a neat thing rather than a big news story, but they integrated how long to beat into the Xbox app on PC, Um, which I saw arguments kind of on both sides of this where it's like, if it's next to a game that is $60 or whatever price it is, you're like, oh, I'm only getting eight hours out of this. Um, But... Uh, this is mostly for the Game Pass games, which are free with your subscription anyways. So you can sit there and be like, like a prime example, I opened it up, saw Citizen Sleeper, which is on our Game of the Year to play list for the four of us. And I was thinking this game was like a 20 hour, 25 hour game, um, which Jake probably never said that. I just probably assumed that. And it says like, how long to beat six hours? And like completion is 10 hours. And I'm like, oh, it's that short? Like I might dive into this game like during the week because I don't need a, a ton of time to play it um, versus there's probably other games on there that I would think are short. I look at it and it's like to beat the main story, it's 45 hours. So I think it's a really cool addition um, to the Xbox app. Yeah, uh, like I, see, I, I see no downsides to adding that kind of information other than like, I guess just people complaining about it. But for me, that's like informs not not necessarily what am I getting out of my purchase, but but how much time am I going to get to spend in this game that I am interested in playing? Yeah. So um, I, I say more power to Xbox on PC. Totally. And, and I find it neat. Like, obviously there's not like, if you go to Minecraft or like city skylines, there's not how long to beat because just an infinity symbol. Yeah. It's just an infinity symbol, <laughs> uh, which is neat. Cause that also informs you that, that you're like, Oh, how long to beat? It doesn't have one because it's a, it's, I'm going to be spending time with this. So. Yeah. I wonder um, if people are going to use this. Not that they should care at all, and they're doing a great thing by this. But this is just a kind of fun thing. Like, would people go and say, like, oh, like they start copying and pasting these things and like flaming on like Twitter or something like that? Like, oh, your game has like a twenty-hour completionist like you know time frame versus my game, which has you know the, the thirty or forty or whatever. Like, clearly this one's. But I wonder if people are going to start using that like for I don't know, just like. I don't say harassment, but definitely like negative purposes, like to bring down the company or game. Yeah, I I can see that. But again, how long to beat's been around for a while. So I feel like if that type personality was going to do that, they would have already done it uh, and they'll continue to do it. So I don't think someone's seeing this how long to beat 
and now deciding to be a piece of shit on the internet. <laughs> it's my moment. Mom, dad, I'm a piece of shit. Um, that is all the top news for this week. Uh, the more middling news of the week is that Splatoon 3 had, a, had the biggest launch for a video game in Japan uh, this past week. Uh, one Ian Gibson I know bought Splatoon 3 and is probably playing it. Um, 3.5 four five million units that's so nuts a lot of units on the release date uh for comparison it outdid animal crossing new horizon by over seven hundred thousand units um the first platoon sold 150,000 units the week it came out and went on to sell 1.8 million so this is already twice the amount it sold i believe only in japan i, I um, like i like how the 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 representation on their top game list is like just five game series though it's like pokemon yeah. <laughs> final fantasy dragon quest monster hunter and then like random other ones but for the most part like they're pretty consistent with what they like we'll say it like that and yeah. over there it's neat to so. see pokemon white coming in third with 2.637 uh million copies sold on its uh release date and then the next, uh, this is very interesting. People can't see this, but it goes Switch Splatoon, Splatoon 3 is number one. Switch Animal Crossing number two. Nintendo DS is number three. And then the PS1 Final Fantasy VIII <laughs> is number four. Wow. Like, it, it's... And then Nintendo DS, PS2, PSP, 3DS, PS1. And the next Switch one is number 10 with Pokemon Sword and Shield. Um... That's crazy. I mean, do you do you think that like any other country is like very different? Like the oh, games are probably yes. different, but yes. they're probably like the 100%. same. Like uh I don't know. I'm trying like I don't know. Uh, specifically like Nintendo. Popular? I don't think RP I don't think RPGs break the top 10 for yeah, a lot other of other countries. Regions. Yeah. yeah. Um cuz I was going to say Nintendo, but this is even just Nintendo games. Um Yeah. Yeah, that's that's really cool. Because I saw Ian, uh, or someone posted this in the, the Discord, and Ian said something. And I was like, oh, that's interesting. And then, like, looking into it, um, it's just so wild. That's, like, it's crazy. Yeah, like, especially because there's Fantasy only 100 people who live for, in Japan, you know? Yeah, Final Fantasy VIII held the, the spot for 11 years until Pokemon Black White beat it out. And then that held the spot for 10 years. Until Animal Crossing New Horizons beat it out. I cannot believe Splatoon sold that much. It's just wild to me. Of all things, it's just like hit. I don't know what, what maybe makes there, Splatoon. People are using the... Maybe something with the, the cartridge. Like it's if you swallow it, you live forever. So people maybe. are just buying it. That's why they're all so healthy. David says all the poor people who bought Final Fantasy VIII after Final after Fantasy VII Fantasy... hype. I honestly, I think I know more people who think Final Fantasy VIII is better than VII than people who like Final Fantasy VII the most. Like, everyone really? I talk to is always like, well, I like VIII better. I couldn't name a single one of them right now because I'm on the spot. But they're out there. They're, they live, watch it. they're near you. They're about to comment on your channel right now. That's me! <laughs> That's me! He said my name! I'm struck, I'm struck at my sacred stones right now. I'm so hard. Maybe it's not eight. Maybe I'm thinking of ten. Oh well. My point still stands. I'm I'm never wrong. Um Ubisoft workers uh, avoid Assassin's Creed Red due to alleged abuse. This is just a quick story. Apparently a lot of Ubisoft workers are trying not to work for the guy who is uh in charge of running Assassin's Creed Red, which is one of the projects that was announced for Assassin's Creed Infinity. Uh, Jonathan Dumont, who was allegedly verbally abusing and making sexual advances towards colleagues, particularly women and new starters. Uh, Ubisoft commented to say that uh, he has been reprimanded uh, and they've done everything possible uh, to not make him a creepy fuck. Uh, Ubisoft and uh, problems and like, uh, go figure, right? They go it's hand crazy. in hand. Yeah. Yeah. I, it, that we said this with the Nintendo uh, QA stuff couple weeks ago but it's like the nintendo stuff at least was i think from like 2013 or something and it, so, and it was like, like a third party kind of deal yeah it wasn't like, it, it wasn't was like direct this is like this is ubisoft like yeah this is, like i don't know how in 2022 this man isn't just fired yeah like immediately yeah. like 
I mean, not, not like people can learn from their mistakes. I'm not saying that like the stuff he's learned from reprimanded, but if people are too afraid to still join the team, that means something's still happening. So if he's getting caught in these things or people are seeing them, why is this person not being reprimanded for this? Um, it's just, it blows my mind um, that these abusers, if they are still abusers can stay in power like this. Uh, and then finally, uh, apparently the last day for Overwatch 1 will be October 2nd before the switch over to Overwatch 2. So get in your hours now uh, in Overwatch before you're never allowed to play it again. Did they? That sad day. Did, uh, did they announce if Overwatch 2 is a you buy it once and then you play? Is, is, is it a pay to play like model for like online? Just curious. They. Did they like say Did you buy it? Because like Overwatch oh, One, you no. obviously bought you bought it and you could just play it. Whatever you paid the first like the full price immediately. Overwatch Two is free to play. It's free. Okay. 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 Oh uh, yes, David, in with the in with the comment here. Two is replacing one. Two PVP is free PvP to play. Is free. Okay. I don't know. Uh, so they're trying to they're the trying to make money off loot boxes, whatever. Like I think their but... progression system now is what they're trying to do. Because that's the gotcha. only way they can do it. So I'm not super into... Oh, I never really played Overwatch or anything. But isn't Overwatch 2 base gameplay like modes? Isn't it 5v5 versus Battle the previous passes. game was 6v6? It's 5v5 so like, now. Yeah. So you'll never be able to play 6v6 again because they're nope. shutting down Which one. is a bummer. Actually, that's probably one of the biggest things I have to complain about it besides some of the character changes and stuff. As a player, I like the balance of having like two... Like you could two tanks two healers and two uh people like not having two tanks sucks man yeah it's but that rough just, it just annoys me on a level of like this is a bad example but being like hey the new smash brothers is out we just replaced the old one and you can't use any of the characters that are not in it and you can only have you you can't have four players you have to have eight players like that sort of situation um I, mean, I think Game already, Erasure is stupid. They had, well, they already had the class Q anyway, or maybe a class Q, but they had, like, tank, you could go, like, roll select tank, roll select healer, roll select DPS and stuff. So that was already in the first one. They added that about, like, halfway through or something like mm -hmm. that. So, I don't know. I'm kind of bummed that one is getting just, like, shut down, like, this quickly. Yeah. I, I, yeah. I actually really like one. It's still pretty fun. I mean... I you know, uh, back back when it was like when Overwatch was Overwatch as we as we, you know in its heyday like it was so fun I had I had tens of hours just in that game having so much fun with friends and mm -hmm. then like stopped playing came back wasn't quite as fun bunch of people had left stopped playing came back it had it had changed so much and it was still fun like the base gameplay is fun it's a fun game yeah but like they just keep sort of handicapping people and it, it's really it gets annoying. The quick play, they made it so even in quick play, you had to roll select, like except for some. Sometimes they had modes where you could just pick. So you could, you can't do like like the same guy. Like we all wanted to be Winston or something like that. You could do back yeah. in the first, or like we all wanted to play tanks and just be like meaty boys. So like you can't do that anymore. You couldn't do that anymore. Meaty yeah. boys, yeah. meaty yeah, boys, and like. This Overwatch 2 could come out and it could be leaps and bounds better than Overwatch 1 and 5v5 is the way to go and how did we ever play 6v6? My my problem is like it's just like you're getting rid of the ability to play that game that people have paid for. Like yeah. that irks me. It's not like Overwatch 1 was free to play or it might have become but originally. So like that irks me that in 20 years I can't buy a used copy of Overwatch 1, plug it in and play it on my console or something like that, but it's it's not old. Like it's not an yeah. old game. Yeah, that's, that's the crazy thing. Like, what it what is it costing you to hold those uh, servers in place? Like, I I don't, I don't get it. I I also have a question too. One of the biggest questions. I I don't know if they will ever show the answer to this, or maybe there is already answer. I have a ton of progression in like boxes and skins and stuff. And the first one, do I just does it just mm. instantly just die? Like, do I just do? It, is there like a like I could tra like transfer that into like currency into the new one? Like, like you've leveled up this. Like, I'm level like whatever the fuck level I am too. You get to keep all of your skins. Okay, I didn't know if they had like imported all the skins, <laughs> Insider emblems, information, animations. Yeah. Yeah. 
not actually gold, yeah, you, yeah gold you had like i had like gold weapons because i played ranked for a little yeah. bit okay got diamond mbd but yeah yeah uh, so it'll yeah. be interesting to see how it pans out um but yeah. yeah maybe i'll try some overwatch uh i never played the original i'm not a huge multiplayer guy um that's it for the news this week i did have a game it is 10 o'clock uh so we can play the game if you want to play the game or i can just save it let's it's up do it you. i'm yeah, let's do, do it, it. Yeah. okay it's pretty quick i made this up the other day uh so we can play it we're gonna start with the person who can tell me what year it was five years ago first uh 2017 what nailed it Oh, I thought you were talking about for a specific game. Sorry. I realized you were talking about like yes. actual year. I know you. I was like, don't Let's worry. Go. I made that to be as confusing as possible. I was so <laughs> confused. The fact that one I was of like, you haven't that, given me the incredible. game. I don't know. Like, what uh, game okay. came out five years ago? So this is, I, I, <clears throat> I thought of this because, um, so I'm going to start with Jason and we'll go back and forth and see who gets the points and they're stealing oh, and all that sort of stuff. None of these oh, rules are, are made up. So the back of the a video game box is often very generic yes. and doesn't really give you a ton of information uh, other than keywords. So if I remove those keywords, Uh-oh. Um, not all of them I'm removing them, but obviously like if it said like the, the name of an Overwatch 2 character, you'd be like, it's Overwatch. So I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to blank those and just say like main character or whatever. Okay. But I want to see if you can guess what video game this is. Uh, yes. If you can't get it I... by the end, I'll give you a couple Hopefully seconds. All... The other person can steal. Uh, so, Jason, Hopefully here's your... four series. <laughs> yeah. Here's... I made sure... I had Karen help pick, too. Oh, okay. Here is your first game. Experience the challenge of endless adventure. Welcome to blank, where the only sound you'll hear is your own heart pounding as you race through forests, lakes, mountains, and dungeonous mazes in an attempt to restore peace to the land. Along the way, you'll be challenged by blank and blank and an endless array of ruthless creatures who will stop at nothing to prevent you from finding the lost fragments of blank. But don't despair. With a little luck and a lot of courage, you'll conquer your adversaries, unite the blank, and unravel the mystery of blank. Kingdom Hearts. Oh, that's, this one. Honestly, I should. Okay, I'll give you. Well, uh, let 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 let. Uh, no, 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 yeah, yeah. It, uh, with, uh, It's not Kingdom form. Hearts. Kyle, chance to steal. I I have no idea. I was honestly thinking something along the lines of Kingdom Hearts. Uh, I I have no idea. My my brain just keeps going to Fire Emblem, but it's I know it's not Fire Emblem. Or is it, it is the Legend of Zelda, the oh first one, the original. Yeah, like, okay, so we were in I, like the same realm. It was like fantasy kind yeah. of stuff. I purposely picked a lot of uh, a lot of older games because their things were way more generic and included. Okay. But uh, I had read through this before, but I didn't realize just there's like obviously Triforce of Wisdom would have given it away. It says Legend yes. of Zelda. The only thing was enemies were the Tektites and the Wiz Robes. If you gave me Wizrobe, I would have gotten it. Yeah. Uh, Wizrobe, uh, Tektite, I'd never heard before. Tektites are the spiders that jump up and down, and the ones on the water. So I probably yeah, David in too. chat had guessed Breath of the Wild, so you were pretty close. Uh, okay, so no points for anyone yet, Kyle. Your turn. Oh boy, hey, Kyle, you ready? You got this. Um, <laughs> I and I realize there's not a good way for you to buzz in, but if you just scream nah, like I mean, you know I'm the just... answer, uh, go for it. Oh yeah, you I, can thought, I just figured he just gets it, and then if I if he misses it or something like that, I. Uh, but yeah, if you want to stop me early to get my attention. Okay. Uh, blank, uh, sorry, main character is super in a whole new way. Combined with the finest 3D graphics ever developed for a video game and an explosive soundtrack, Name of Game becomes a new standard for video games. It's packed with bruising battles, daunting, daunting obstacle courses, and underwater adventures. Retrieve the goals from the hidden locations and confront your arch nemesis, blankety blank blank. Is it Super Mario N64? It is Super Mario okay. N64. Okay. <laughs> Great. Nice. I, was like, if I, don't get, I, I will say... I think that description was way easier than the other yes, one. Yes, so. 100%. <laughs> um, yes, Mario is super in a whole new way. Arch nemesis, Bowser King of Koopas. Great job. That's one point for you. Yeah, Please yeah, remember yeah. your points. I am not keeping track of them. 
<laughs> um, Jason, here you go. I'm ready. Ready. I'm ready. <laughs> ready. <clears throat> an evil magician has stolen an enchanted goblet. Your job is to find it. There are three deadly dragons and a black bat who will try to stop you. Luckily, in this game, reincarnation is as easy as pushing a button. Uh, this, this is this is not right, but I'm I'm excited to do this one. Mickey's magical mirror. <laughs> that is not right. <laughs> oh. God damn it. I okay. thought it was close. Kyle. Uh can you can you read that again, please? Go ahead, yeah. That's cool. Oh, I'll read it all day. Okay. <laughs> an evil magician has stolen an in Okay, I've I should be upfront. None of these words I have changed. Okay. An evil magician has stolen an enchanted goblet. Your job is to find it. There are three deadly dragons and a black bat who will try to stop you. Luckily in this game, reincarnation is as easy as pushing a button. So it's a game with a like a rollback time or like a respawn sort of mechanic. Um, yeah. This this game is what inspired this whole game. Uh <sighs> I'm like blanking. What was the, <laughs> this? Is not it. What was that game where you play the cat with the time gun? It's like a, a time warping game, and he's like a cat. Not braid. No, no, it's, it's like older. It's like way older, or maybe, maybe it wasn't a cat. Blinks the, t the blinks. I think the... it was blinks. Yeah, I don't know why I keep thinking of blinks. It's, blinks, yeah. <laughs> it's not blinks. <laughs> I'm gonna say blinks, but I know it's okay. wrong. So. I'm gonna go back to Jason because this one's so hard. I then give you a hint. It is for the Atari Twenty Six Hundred. Oh my gosh. Medieval. Ooh. Medieval? Medieval, yeah. No. Kyle, one more. No idea. I, I Atari is not my not my King strong Arthur suit. Or something like that. It is Adventure. Oh, the original Adventure? The wow. original okay, okay. Adventure. Uh, I've, David I've guessing seen... Rogue in the chat. Pretty good. Pretty good. Guess. I've I've seen uh, Ready Player One. I should have known that, you know? Should have known. The best, best movie, best book in the world. Best book, love it. Um, okay, I believe it's Kyle's turn. One point. <clears throat> Here we go. Dark days are rising. War has engulfed the land of blank, where human blanks and half-human blanks view each other with mistrust. When a surprise invasion triggers a worldwide conflict, a sinister force emerges from the shadows and pits the two against one another. Only a young mercenary named Blank and his small band of soldiers for hire stand between Blank and madness. You're going to do this to me. <laughs> how, how dare you? Say, wait, wait, wait. Is it, I knew, is it, it, I knew it from the... I read this box like 50 fire, fucking times. It's a Fire Emblem game? Which Fire Emblem game? Uh, read read, is, is, read the first it. like sentence He's again. It. He's got it. Because I was thinking it was something else, but then as soon as... Dark as days as... are rising. War has engulfed the land of blank, where human blanks and half-human oh, blanks... Oh, 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 Path, Path of Radiance. The ha as, soon as, you, as, soon as, as soon as you said half-humans, I was like, of course. I believe, yeah. yes, it is Path of Radiance. I, I did okay. not, it in my Path screenshot, yeah. it does not include the name of the game, which yeah, was my fault. Yeah. And you have to get Ike, Yes, Tellius. Yes. That was pretty, I'm, I, I knew it, like, I've good. read that box. I have the box right over there, actually. So. That's I, I, I didn't, I didn't realize, you it. I didn't realize you stood up in frustration. Oh. I thought you were, like, grabbing yeah, something. I knew, I knew, <laughs> this is one of my favorite games of all time, yeah. So. That's great. It is. It's, okay. it's amazing. One of my favorites. <laughs> Okay, Jason, your turn. Okay. Rival nations are secretly developing weapons that could threaten the future of mankind. Deep in the jungle, an elite soldier must combine stealth with survival to infiltrate the enemy and stop a weapon of mass destruction from triggering the largest full-scale war the world has ever seen. Go behind enemy lines in this riveting story of peace, love, and war from award-winning director, blankety blank blank. <laughs> I I think I know what this is. You're in the jungle. You're <laughs> in the jungle. Great. <laughs> uh, 
I want to say it is a Metal Gear game. But I'm trying to think which one I would guess. I think it's 4. Metal Gear 4. Metal Gear 4? Yeah. That is incorrect, Kyle. Is it is it just Metal Gear? <laughs> like for that the is, NES? <laughs> is that your is that your guess? Uh, Metal Gear Solid. I'll just say Metal Gear Solid. It is not Metal Gear okay. Solid. Uh, I'm going to have to go back to Jason for another steal. Oh, God. Oh, do I just get another guess? Okay. Um... Yeah. Someone's got to get it. <laughs> David already gonna... got it. No cheating. I'm, I'm not looking at the chat, so... It's better. It's something to do with Metal Gear. I just don't know if it's one of the. I if there's spinoffs for those games. I'm fucked. Uh, there's I'm five main Gear. games. You could just say guess Metal another Gear, one. I'm gonna say Metal Gear Three. It is Metal Gear Solid oh Three. Oh my okay. god! Because I know two. Eater. I know two. You play as Raiden, and you're on like some fucking ship instead. So that's not as bad. Yeah. Okay, that's a point for Jason. I've I've never played any of those games, so. Um, I believe it's played, Kyle. I've next. only played two, by the way. So. Oh, nice. Um, okay, this one's great. This one's so fantastic. I love this one so much. Kyle, you're ready for this. Okay, let's here we do go. It. Explore a rich and ever changing world shaped by your decisions. Uh, Write your own. No, I <laughs> sorry. What? I paused because that is. <laughs> the top sentence, and then it's an entire image, and then a bottom sentence. I thought I thought that's is... all you were gonna give me. Yeah, <laughs> the top one is so generic. No. Stop. Sorry. Much is um, Write your own epic blank and become a legendary blank with an all new style of gameplay. Your choices will determine what type of hero you become and shape the world around you. Um. Uh, can you read the first sentence again? Just just the first one that you stopped at. Explore a rich and ever changing world shaped by your decisions. There's also there's no period on that sentence. It just, just stops. Go, it just rolls into the next one. Um, I feel like it could be like an Elder Scrolls game or like a. Not bad guess. Yeah. Um, I'm gonna give you a better hint because okay. I. Uh, uh, I'll just let me reread the whole thing. Okay. Explore a rich and ever-changing world shaped by your decisions. Write your own epic odyssey and become a legendary blank hero. With an all-new style of gameplay, your choices will determine what type of hero you become and shape the world around you. I've got to guess if after Kyle does this. Yeah, I mean, I, does does Elder Scrolls get me anywhere close? It does not, unfortunately. Okay. 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 Mine is gonna um, be mine's gonna be infamous. Infamous. Ooh, that's that's not really actually not idea. bad. Um, uh, it's probably wrong, but it, you it is can not. definitely change your hero in that. I, it is as, not. I, I'm not gonna lie. The first sentence that you said, I was like, "Is it The Sims or like Sim City or something?" I, I, I don't yeah. know. Yeah. So okay. But, so no points. But let me read this second sentence. Uh, and you might get it with the thing I omitted. Your write your own epic odyssey and become a legendary Spartan <laughs> hero. Assassin's Creed. Odyssey, Odyssey yes. a game that I've played like a hundred and thousand <laughs> no. hours in. I yeah. literally so I, I pulled all these off. So I, off. I, I thought you were sticking to like older games. I was uh, sorry. That was my jumping off point. Was older games. Uh, oh, okay, okay. Sorry, okay. but yeah, they're they're games spanning all of all of video games in. Here. Gotcha. But gotcha, that's a good gotcha. point. I sh I should have clarified that. Um, yeah, I wasn't gonna get yeah. that until you read Odyssey. So this box was very funny. Um, okay, that was Kyle. So now back to Jason. Oh, I'm not reading is this it... first word. Is it Jason? I think it's Jason. No, no, no. no sorry, I, I was trying to think of the points. I think it's two, two, one. Three, right? three. You've two got one. three. Three, three, one. Okay. I, I think you got Path of Radiance, uh, Mario, and then that. No, he didn't get that one. I, I didn't get that. Oh, one. sorry. So I was no point. You're getting yeah. it wrong. You could still okay. win this. Oh, okay. Okay. Uh, this first word is an exclamatory. I'm not saying the word. <laughs> Great. Uh, it's not a bad word. I'm just not saying it. Come. As a rookie defense blank, you'll take on five intriguing <laughs> cases to reveal dramatic, stunning, and even comical court proceedings. 
<laughs> Sorry, there's oh. no words in there I can blank out. That's so uh, funny. Is it... Do we get it again? If you don't mind. Uh, a rookie defense blank. You'll take on... Okay. Okay. As a rookie defense blank, you'll take on five intriguing cases to reveal it. dramatics. Ace Attorney 1. Ace Attorney 1. Ace uh, Attorney. I, the great do you know the name of the game? Chronicles. Ace Attorney Chronicles, I, like, I don't know what the... Justice it's Phoenix Department. Wright, Ace Attorney. I assume that's uh -oh, the first game. Okay. It's the first one. I just okay, so that's Ace all. Attorney. second one's Justice for All, I think, and the third one yeah. is... No, I would have taken... You were right. I just didn't know if it was one or not. Uh, that was a pretty easy one. That was yeah, the, my, the exclamatory that was my, that was limp, is yeah. <laughs> objection. <laughs> that was my limp into it one. Oh, my God. I mean, I think, I think they should redo objection to just come, but, you know. <laughs> come. Come. No, suck your own dick. <laughs> um, okay. <laughs> Kyle, your turn. Okay. <sighs> you are blank. You have the right to spy, steal, destroy, and assassinate to ensure that American freedoms are protected. If <laughs> captured, the U.S. government will disavow you or disavow any knowledge of your existence. Tom Cruise. Tom Cruise, the video game. <laughs> I forgot about that game. <laughs> is it uh, Splinter Cell? It Ooh. is Splinter Cell. Wow. I love Splinter Cell growing up. Hi. Splinter Cell. Nice. Nice. That's a point for you. I, he just um, loves the chair. The chair. I love the chair. Master sits in the chair. Hi, Mochi. Um, yeah, okay. He's literally holding on Jason, to my... this is yes. your game it is your job to keep blank as happy as possible you must guide him around the maze so that he can eat blank and blank protect him from the blanks unless he has the super strength of the blank if he does what? have the super strength help him chase the blanks and gobble them up before they gobble him is it, is it pac-man it is Pac-Man. Awesome. Is it Pac-Man? I was kind of <laughs> like, uh... there's a that one's pretty easy. That's a game yeah. You gotta easy. you want to make this interesting. I, I understand, yeah. man. I I also thought of this, or I remembered this about twenty minutes before the stream. So I just was on Moby Games trying to take screenshots of backs of covers. There you go. Um, oh, I want to be on Video Game Jeopardy on September twenty fourth. I'll do it. Uh, okay, here's the final one for you, uh, Kyle. Final one for uh, the game. He can, he can win it, right? Off this, I think he's got. We're tied, and I think if he wait, so should, win. should we stop? No, this is your second one technically. I went first, so you you. Get... Well, I, I was gonna say, should we do sudden death on this? Okay, one? let's do sudden like death. Whoever, on this whoever one. gets it first, whoever can guess it. Yeah. Um. Okay. Oh, fair. Here we go. I mean, you get you you get your own question. No, this is fun. Cool. Sudden death. We're, we're, we're sure. even. We're three three, right? It's, yeah, we're tied, but I've gotten more questions though, so that's not fair. Is what yeah, I'm who cares? To say. Well, I fine. Okay. I, I'm just, <laughs> I Kyle doesn't nice, care. Man. He's the only one who would. Uh, <laughs> okay, here we go. Here we go. You'd better be quick on the draw. In blank. Sa oh no, that's not. Sorry. Is that it? <laughs> no. Sam's customers really know how to put away the root beer. In fact, they drink it down as fast oh, as you oh, serve it oh, up. Oh, oh, Sometimes oh, even uh, faster. Uh, You're the only soda, soda jerk uh, on duty. Uh, Tabard, ta what so, is it called? Uh, you have to really hustle to keep up with their orders. Things get pretty messy if you don't just do it right. Mugs crash off the counter if you serve too fast or grab the empties too slowly. And if drinks don't come pronto, the customers get downright mean. They'll pick you up and toss you out of the fountain. Kyle, did you have a guess? Isn't it, isn't it called, isn't it Tabber or like, uh, it's like a bartending game. You're, it's like very old. I can't remember what it's Tapper. called. Tapper. Yeah. Wait, who said that? I said Tapper because he said Tabber. But that's yeah. Tapper. That's but that's bullshit because he said tap. I was just, it was literally, <laughs> if you flip the bees upside down, it would have been right. <laughs> he said, right. He's, he's like, tapper. And you play as a bartender. I'm like, oh, you mean tapper? <laughs> okay. Give that to him, oh please. Oh my goodness. Okay. Give that to Kyle for the tapper. Actually, you'll split the point. No, I don't you want both to. win. You're both winners in my book. There we Folks, go. Thank you so much for tuning in this week. <laughs> 
David, thank you for being here and keeping us all informed of everything that you were keeping us informed of. Ian stopped by, got angry that we were playing a game and left. Uh, Jason, Kyle, thank you both so much for joining me this week on Local Chat. It was lovely to have both of you here to chat about video games. Uh, Jason, is there anything you would like to plug? Uh, I need to plug in that lamp That was a great and utterly fantastic joke. Um, <laughs> Jesus. Um, Kyle, you don't have anything to plug because you live here. You live in I this do. home. Uh, Subpixelfilms.com brings you to our link tree where you can get all sorts of stuff. We have merch now. You can go get the merch off of Red Bib Red Red Bib Red Bubble. Red Red Bub uh, so go there. Uh, I'm at Hunter70 on Twitter. Kyle is at Kyle underscore Kyle. No, at Kyle. At Kyle. Yeah. It's Jake is the underscore mm -hmm. uh, on Twitter. Um, I'm trying to think. We uh, this Saturday, I believe at 8 p.m. I'll be diving back into Pokemon White. So definitely check that out. It's a lot of fun. Uh, I'm really, really enjoying that game, as I said before. And then, of course, next week. Tuesday will be more Poke Will, and then Thursday will be another episode of this very show, so please tune in for that. It'll be a fantastic time. Um, I think that's it. I think that's everything. So uh, until then, folks, have a great week, and we will see you all then. Suck your own dick. Bye. Thanks, hey. Nintendo.